Good morning, three minutes and go. Uh, halfway through a double that I did not know I had, so I had a no call, no show this morning. I mean, I don't know. I'll take it uh, on the chain. It's my first time, no call, no show. And uh, hopefully I can uh, not dispute it per se, but at least, I don't know, do something. Because I definitely don't want that on my record. Uh, you know what? But here's the, uh, here's the flip side to it. Like, I show up to work, and I show up, and I work doubles all day long. But I'm at a point now where, like, I know I got a great job, but I'm not going to let the job define me. When I got my 8-year-old telling me, Daddy, quit your job and stay home with me, like, I know, you know, in the, in the mind of an 8-year-old, it's just that simple. But, you know, we have responsibilities, bills, stuff like that, and I'm trying to do other things at the same time to hopefully get me to a point where this job will just be strictly for the insurance. I won't worry about overtime or what my raises are or anything like that. And, you know, who knows what the future holds, but I'm gonna still keep showing up. And it kills me because, you know, I'll never get that time back with my son. You know, my older three, they're pretty much all well-established in their lives. And, you know, I'm lucky if I see them on holidays and my teenager that's still at home, uh, who I consider one of my older three, like, I saw a meme and it's, accurate of a teenager you know comes out of the room to eat or they want to be they want attention other than that they don't want anything to do with you and after the last week we've had you know it's been a really uphill battle and you know that's okay because you know what we got through it and you know I don't know what the future holds but I'm just trying to keep my shit together so I can be there for my kids and uh, more importantly be there for myself like self checking with myself you know this last week I gained weight because I was stress eating up and down and you know, I don't like that I'm trying to get back to it and uh, I will just slowly but surely you know do the next indicated thing you know I did a great podcast with uh, uh, Penny's Gems uh, owner Angie and she you know she just says you know God's got you faith 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 that was the whole whole conversation was about faith and God getting you and I get that you know what I mean I, I totally get that it's just you know when you're in the middle of it sometimes it's not that easy well it's always that easy just sometimes you don't see it because you're so stuck on the destination you can't focus on the next step in front of you and you know the old me would have been having full-blown panic attack they're gonna fire me and you know I said to, I called the shifty he said email your supervisor I emailed my supervisor and that's all I can do 100% you know and whatever happens happens and I'm gonna just keep it pushing I'm not gonna allow this to dictate what what goes on in my head uh, so, you know, the best thing I can tell you is in a world where you can be anything, be kind to yourself, give yourself a break. And when you make mistakes, learn from them, grow from them and evolve from them. And, you know, the best thing I can tell you is that no matter what, don't give up. You know, if you have a dream that's been placed on your heart by the universe, chase that dream with every ounce of who you are and the universe will conspire to get you where you need to go. I promise. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise you, it's uh, it's going to change the world one random act of kindness at a time.